guys, it's Christy. I am here today with card number five in my Christmas card series. Today I'm going to be using some stamp sets from Paper Smooches. I am using this um, Chili Chum stamp set and I'm going to be using the seal and this little bird. And I'm also going to be using the Christmas sampler and I'm going to be using the Sentiment Holiday Cheer. So I've gone ahead and stamped those out on some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock. We're going to go ahead and color those in. Okay, and I want to keep my seal just a very light gray. So I'm going to be using some of the ice grays from my Spectrum Noir collection. I'm going to start with um, IG1. And I'm just going to give him like a a little bit of shading down the back side just very light and then I'll go in with my IG2 I'm just going to stick really close to the line and just darken that up just a tiny bit. Just add a little depth. And I'm going to take these four shades and I'm going to do a little bit of a dotting technique to add some texture. And I'm just going to start and go um, lightest to darkest and then darkest to lightest. Just adding a little bit of dotting. No kind of rhyme or reason, just kind of where I think it looks good. The longer you hold the marker down, the larger the dot will be, and the quicker you pick it up, the smaller the dot will be. Moving on to IG3. Trying to concentrate most of the darker colored dots towards the outside edge, so that will add some shading. And then IG4. I'm going to use this one just really sparingly because it's a much darker color. And then I'm just going to go in reverse and I'm going to try to go right on top of some of those other dots because that is going to blend them out a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and color this bird. And I want them to look like a puffin, so I think I'm going to go with my GG5 and 4. And I'm just going to give him a little bit of color. I'm going to start darkest to lightest this time because I just want to, I don't want to get too dark, so I want to make sure I just get just a tiny bit. Okay, and then... For his nose, I'm going to go with OR3 and 2. I know it's a small space and a lot of people say that in a small space they don't bother shading, but I like a lot of contrast in my coloring, so I always try to squeeze in at least two colors if I can. So that was the OR3 and there's OR2, and that just gives a little bit of dimension there and then I'm going to go ahead and trim these out and I'll be back with the rest of the card. Okay so I've cut those out and you can see how the ink has dried a little bit more and um, how that you get that gradation of the dots on the seal and then I've gone around the edges with my Memento dual tip marker uh, by Tsukaneko just to remove the white core there and by the way mine is running dry and I'm having a really hard time finding it anywhere so if anybody knows where to get that uh, Memento Tuxedo Black marker let me know. 
All right, so now that we've got that done, we can go ahead and assemble our card. So I've got a piece of Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White Cardstock folded into a standard size card. That is a top folding card. And I've got a piece of American Crafts red cardstock that I want to go down the side. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some tape runner. Okay. And now I have this pattern paper from uh, Doodlebug. This is from last year's 6x6. That's what that one looks like. It's called North Pole. So we're going to go ahead and adhere that on the other side. And that's going to allow those two papers to overlap just a little bit. So you have the red strip down the side. Now I've got some glitter paper from American Crafts and I'm going to create some little hills. I just free cut some little snow banks. I'm trying to decide if I want that to go across the whole bottom of the card or if I just want to keep it over here. Well, I think I am going to just keep it over to the one side. So I'm going to pop this one up on dimensionals see how far over that's going to go. This time of year I like to use a lot of adhesive because it's going through the mail and I want to make sure it gets through, you know, in a really nice condition. So I'm going to put some tape runner on the back of this piece. And then I'm just going to line this one up and see where it's going so I can get a good idea for placement for this piece behind. So I'll just press that one into place. And then I'll go ahead and remove the adhesive on the backs of these. And press that into place. And then we'll just turn it over and trim off the excess. Now we can figure out the placement for our little friends here. Thinking something like that. So I'm going to add some dimensional to the top of the seal here. And then I'm going to take, I want to make sure that that really adheres to the glitter paper. So I'm taking some Tombow Mono putting enough on there but I want to make sure it's not um, going to seep out and make a mess. Okay. Press them into place. Now I have this sentiment that I've gone ahead and embossed with some white embossing powder. I'm using uh, some sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. These are from my friend Paulina. She has recently opened a store, um, at, and I will link that in the description bar below. The official grand opening is going to be December 1st, but she's started doing a little bit of pre-sales. And here are two of her collections. This one is the Winter Snow, and this one is the Classic Christmas. And they're just some really awesome sequins. She's got a whole bunch of different ones. There's going to be a big blog hop, which I'm involved in for the launch. And she's just as sweet as can be and a really lovely person. So you definitely want to check out her shop and support her. Um, so I've gone and taken one of the snowflakes from the uh, winter snow set and then a, the red sequin from the classic Christmas set and then I've just put a little green gem in the center and I've he adhered all that together with glossy accents and I'm going to take some more glossy accents and I'm just going to dab a little bit on the back here and we'll go ahead and adhere that down
And that's the card for today. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you'll check out Paulina's store at Pretty Pink Posh. And uh, check the link in the description bar below for that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.